Fuck all these flakes, probably drinking all my dip spit We don't pop mollies, bitch, we popping out the tin lids I get it, this bitch, bit it blacker than an African Offer me a pin, say goodbye to like half a ten Pack it like it's magic, I'm packing backed up in traffic I'm packing rapping with passion, you pack a house, I pack in a mansion my lip enormous, you would think I am a pelican I'm rolling with like three whores and I'm about to get it in uh, I'm back for more, yeah Hey, what's going on Dippers? Michigan Dipper with a brand new video We got a lot of stuff to cover today So uh, before we do all that, let's pack a lip I think we're going to throw in some Cope LC uh, fresh uncracked tin. You guys love unfresh cracked tins. I don't know why, but uh, it is what it is. Oh man, they jipped me on this one, but who cares? We're throwing in some Cope LC. Okay, so mud jug of the day is the Red Mr. Creepy. One of my favorite mud jugs besides uh, the green. So immature dippers, uh, seems like, uh, you know, we got a lot of hate on what other people are dipping. Now guys, you guys know I dip Copenhagen Wintergreen. Uh, lately it's been Skull Peach. Uh, love the stuff, it's like candy. Uh, but I don't hate on anybody that uh, dips another dip other than me. Uh, it just seems like, you know, oh, well, you know, you don't, you know, you gotta dip Copenhagen or Copenhagen Snuff or Cope Belt C, uh, or, oh, no, Copenhagen sucks, uh, you better start dipping that grizzly. You know, guys, it's fucking foolish. It really is. Uh, we're all dippers, we all have a dip of our choice, you know, so it really... To me, it doesn't matter what, uh, you know, like my my sister, uh, Cope Dippin' Chick, whatever she dips. She likes fruity dips, she likes straight dips, she likes natty dips. I don't care what you guys are dipping on. I mean, hey, it's great if you want to dip Grizzly or Copenhagen or Skull uh, or Timberwolf or Stokers. You know, I mean, that stuff really doesn't matter. So, I mean, we're all dippers, so why do we got to hate on each other for dipping? Uh, something other than what we personally dip. So, you know, that's just immature. Here's another good one. Um, people that hate on you for uh, spitting in a bottle or if you get a mud jug or whatever, you know, it personally, to me, it doesn't matter what you spit in as long as you're spitting. Uh, black, uh, and preferably not on my carpet. But, uh, you know, it really doesn't matter, guys. I mean, if you got a mud jug, great. If you got a water bottle, you... I mean, personally, it's not a big deal. This one, now I did a video about this, uh, about pouches. Let's see. I got a tin of skull pouches, okay? Always a lot of hate on pouches. Oh, you're a pussy. You're this. Oh, get the tampon out of your mouth. Well, you know what, guys? I'm going to tell you like it is. I dip pouches for the simple fact that I work in a restaurant and that it's just not, you know, cost uh, efficient to, you know, throw in a fucking hammer for five to ten minutes. It's just a waste. And, you know, I'm going to... This is another little bit of a topic. You know, I get questions about... Uh, Oh, my gums are sore, and, you know, gums are receding, and what should I do? I'm not a freaking expert, guys. Uh, you know, give your gums a break. If they're getting raw, give them a break, because, you know, I do a lot of Copenhagen wintergreen, and, you know, wintergreen is not the most uh, friendliest uh, with your gums. It tears them up a bit. So give your gums a break. Dip some pouches. If you got to do it for a week, do it for a week. You guys know where I stand on pouches. 
I don't hate on anybody that does pouches. I know I get a lot of hate for it, but you know, hey, it is what it is. Here's a good one. Shout outs. I, I get hounded uh, all the time for shout outs. Now, I only do shout outs to the dippers that really deserve shout outs. Now, if you just sit in front of your camera and you talk like this and you just tell me how your day is and you know, Aunt Sally went in for her colon cleansing and whatever kind of bullshit. You know, if you're gonna just sit there in front of the camera and just be boring, sorry, I can't give you a shout out. Uh, but the, per the folks that do, uh, you know, work really hard on their videos, hey, I'll give you a shout out. Uh, you guys know I never act ask for any shout outs. Um, you know, I just, with each and every one of my videos, I wing it and just try to entertain you guys. So, you know, if you guys want to give me shout outs, great. Uh, but you'll never see me uh, begging, hey, uh, Outlaw, can you give me a shout out? Hey, Addy Lips, can you put me in a song? Hey, Dippin' Daisy, please give me a shout out. I don't do that, guys. I'll comment on your vids, say, hey, good vid, you know, keep up the good work, stuff like that. Now, I get this quite often. Can you send me a mud jug? I need a mud jug, and I see you got like 10 of them. No, I'm sorry guys, but I'm not sending you a mud jug or dip. I even get that every now and then. Can you send me dip Michigan dipper? No, sorry guys. I still get some comments on pinch size again, okay? Pinch size, great. Everybody's got their own pinch size. I throw in what's more, what's comfortable for me. For me, it's just not, um in my budget to be thrown in half of a tin all the time. And like I've said in previous videos, if you want me to start doing that, start sending me dip. Then I'll have no problem. Let's stick with the one before, but uh, yeah, I'm just kind of rambling on and not doing anything. I've only got one shout out for this video, uh, it goes to Bobby from Redneck Nation. Uh, if you guys didn't see in my last video, uh, the Skull Peach Chaos, uh, at the beginning of the video there was a actual Michigan Dipper logo, uh, Bobby sent that to me, uh, helping me out because my contest kind of flopped, and uh, he says, hey, I don't want no, uh, no mud jug, I just want to help a fellow dipper out. So you know what, thank you Bobby. Uh, you know I'm Redneck Nation strong and proud. Um, so I really appreciate that. Um, so guys, this is gonna wrap it up. So uh, you know, I really ain't got much to say and uh, if I don't see you around, I'll see you around here. Oh, one last thing guys, you're gonna love this. All right, this is, uh, looks, I know it looks like a uh, Confederate camo mud jug, but it's actually a cell phone, okay? You can actually call people with this thing. I'm going to call Outlaw. Yeah, hey, Outlaw. Hey, Michigan Dipper. Hey, what's going on, brother? Oh, I see. Working on a new lip to throw uh, video. That's great, man. Uh, hey, I just wanted to know, uh, did you get my uh, invoice for the my uh, latest order of uh, Keep It Frickin' Hillbilly Apparel. Okay, good. Uh, make sure you, if you could, throw in a couple extra of those Keep It Frickin' Hillbilly stickers. What? You ain't got any. Oh, okay. Well, you gonna order some? Okay, well, we'll just worry about it with the next order. So, uh, yeah, hey, good, good talking to you, man. Uh, we'll do a new chat some night or whenever you're not busy. All right, sounds good, brother. All right, man, if I don't see you around, I'll see you around. Here. You guys got to get yourself one of these. Freaking great, I just called Outlaw. Oh, and uh, it only works with the Confederate camel. Uh, I don't understand it, so...